look more fit. Yeah. In this video, we're looking at the um, Daikin wall controller BRC1E61 and 1E62. Um, and this is actually in response to our, our last video that we did about um, how to activate the temperature sensor in the controller itself as opposed to the return vent and uh, uh, so one of the comments we got was that it's actually the incorrect um, code we followed up with um, Dakin Tech Support and they confirmed that so despite their um, installation manual it's got here uh, 22 thermostat sensor and remote controller and actually doesn't have anything in here relating to O3. Uh, despite that, um, we're going to run through the actual correct procedure and just clarify that. So, so if we're going to look at, well there's three options, you can have it sensing at the wall controller as we said and the sensor is underneath, you can see there, just on the right hand side. And um, the alternative is to sense at the return vent or at the um, uh, or, or alternating between the two between the controller and the return vent so in this video we're going to show you how to just um, sense at the wall controller itself so first of all what we're going to do is press and hold the back button here for about five seconds Okay, I'll try that again, five seconds. Okay, we're gonna arrow down to field settings. Press enter. Okay, so we'll see that the mode is actually uh, set to 20 already. We wanna arrow across. And to change that, we need to go to 22 03. So we're going to use the up arrow and arrow up to 2203. We're going to hit enter. Save the settings. Yes. And when we hit the back button to return back to the front screen, it'll go through a system reset. And once that's done, in this case, 2203 will actually be sensing at the wall controller itself and nowhere else. Um, in the following videos, we'll do um, to change the code so it senses at the uh, return vent and also then the other option to alternate between sensing between wall controller and return vent. Thanks for watching. More fit.